Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode from Hamza Tqari. The book which I want to talk about today is Veronica Decides Today by Paulo Coelho, the Brazilian writer whose books were translated to so many languages around the world and sold millions of copies, such as The Pilgrimage, Breda, 11 Minutes. The book which I'm so excited to tell you about is a life-changing one. How? I'll tell you. Veronica is the main protagonist of this novel. She is a young lady, she is living alone and working in a library. One day she decided to commit suicide because she felt that she, her life was boring and that she wasn't able to make any change in this world. She opened her eyes at the hospital where the doctor told her that she still has just uh, one week to live. The, the surprise got bigger when she figured out that she was uh, when she figured out that she was in a hospital of mental health. So here, Veronica uh, stayed waiting for her days to end. At the hospital, she got to know so many people, such as Zedka, Edward, Mary. Those people told her about their hard lives. And although they were living in those hard lives, they were still want to live. Veronica felt ashamed and regretted that decision when she wanted suicide. So Veronica now uh, fell in love with Edward and she discovered that she still had just 24 hours to live. So she escaped with Edward out of the hospital in order to enjoy every single moment of that day. Uh, but she didn't know that the, uh, the doctor lied at her when he told her that she still has just one week. She actually had her entire life. He told her so because he knew that if he had told her the truth, she would have tried to commit suicide again. Here, the doctor, the life of the doctor saved the life of Veronica. So from this lesson, we learn that we don't appreciate the meaning of life till we discover that we are, go we are going to death. So here, the awareness of death encourages people to live their life entirely and to live it to the fullest. Committing suicide isn't the solution at all. Because no matter how your life hard, you have to, to face all your problems and life actually is worth of living.